All right, it is another Friday night. Thank goodness, the weekend on the horizon. We are breaking one product tonight, and that is Select Baseball. And, of course, um, it is the back half of the case that we started the other day. So uh, we just need to go over a little bit of information. And once we get that done, we will be ready to roll tonight. So while everybody's getting in and getting settled, uh, let's start going over a few things. So feedback is automated. Anytime you leave positive feedback for me, you will instantly get positive feedback in return. How many things, you know, are really truly instant? Yeah, that is uh -huh, automation. That's why. <laughs> Either way, it's a win-win. No waiting positive feedback for you when you leave some for me. And of course, the other thing there is to say thank you. Always appreciate you spending a little time with me as we break select baseball tonight. This is what it looks like in the days ahead. So um, why did I leave tonight on there? I don't know. I didn't mean to, but I did. So there it is. Um, <laughs> both Saturday and Sunday will be off nights. On Monday night, we're going to open Contenders Draft Picks Football. That's a 2020 product. Note that your Oakland Raiders become Las Vegas Raiders. That's right. Starting in the 2020 products. We're going to break a half case of that, and they are loose boxes from Shared Case. On Tuesday night, we're going to break Bowman Baseball again. That is also in a half case quantity. Those are also loose boxes from Shared Case. Unfortunately, the whole 75-25 mess that Tops created means most things came in that way, loose boxes. And then Select Baseball. We will break that again on Wednesday night, and that will be the start of a new case when we uh, revisit it on Wednesday night. So for tonight, that is the wrong date on there. Yeah, obviously, I did forget to change that, didn't I? Because that is not at all right. It's not going to ship tomorrow. Let me fix that. <laughs> Let's fix that real quick. See, I had a phone call tonight when I was working on this, and you can definitely tell, can't you? Um, we're looking really more like Monday on there. Or actually, well, Tuesday, possibly. Let's We'll be on the safe side and fix it for Tuesday, although I think it may go Monday. Okay, so that looks a little better. So um, should be out the door and on the way to you tonight by Tuesday. I'm hoping Monday, but let's say Tuesday to be absolutely 100% sure. And of course, like anything, it is plus or minus a day. Something unexpected happens, could go a day later. Everything goes as planned, maybe goes a day sooner, that sort of thing. But Tuesday is your target shipping date. Everyone's going to pull cards in here, so we do not have to worry about consolation cards because every team will have a package of cards coming their way. So it is a six-box break. Again, this is the back half of a case of 2020 Select Baseball and it is break number four. It ended tonight on eBay, the same night we are breaking it, which is Friday night, the 29th of May. Team names are on the left-hand side. Each eBay user ID is across from the team. If you are a lucky winning bidder in there, you're going to see your name up in lights across from your team as we scroll down through there. I believe everybody's paid up tonight. Woohoo! Yeah, yeah, I love that. Thanks, everybody, for that. So we're going to be able to just get right to it. I am changing up the focus a little bit, and you probably see that your background got blurry there. I don't want you to worry about that, though. We're going to be able to see everything that we need to see and more. Well, I don't know about more, but at least what we need to see. All right, so let's get our boxes out of here. And um, here's what we're looking for. Two autographs and that piece of the wraps covering it up. Two memorabilia cards per box. On average, yeah, Panini loves to use that word, on average. Realistically, what that means is this. Every once in a while, they might mess up and not give us a hit that we're due. Fortunately, that does not happen very often. Occasionally, they put in a hit, an extra hit that you're not expecting. That's a better result. But most often, what happens if it uh, is affected is that a hit gets replaced with a Panini Rewards card got rewards points on it. If that happens tonight, we will use random.org and find any rewards points cards that we find. We would give them a home using random.org at the end of the break. Hi, Jay Allen. And Chris is back from San Diego. Sunny San Diego. 
Hi, Chris. It wasn't sunny here today too much. A little bit for a brief period of time, and then it got kind of cloudy, and then I kept thinking it was going to pour rain, and then it didn't really ever pour rain. It just did annoying rain, you know, just like enough that you think it's not going to rain, so you start doing something, and then it'll rain, and then you'll think, oh, it's going to rain. So then you go inside, and as soon as you get inside, it stops, and as soon as you go out, it'll come back, that kind of rain. <laughs> Like little brother or little sister rain, just meant to annoy you for a short period of time. Not that all little brothers or sisters annoy you, but for sure they sometimes do. As do big brothers and sisters annoy little ones sometimes too. All right, so there are a lot of parallels in here, lots of interesting things to look at, numbered and otherwise. We're going to talk about them a little bit we'll go a little bit slower through box number one so we can talk more about those sorts of things then we'll go faster through our subsequent boxes stuff in here that are uh, that is a refractor otherwise known as a prism some of those we may sleeve as we go but a lot of them I will probably sleeve them after the break just for the uh, purpose of keeping things moving you know, like our, our base guys and some stuff like that. Like this is an example, for instance, of a base prism. And that is Abraham Toro for the Astros. And again, most of that stuff we're going to sleeve after the fact. Unless it's numbered or has uh, something other, something else interesting going on with it. Numbered to 250. Our first hit that we see is a relic for the Oakland A's. And it is Jesus Lazardo. So if Chris happens to have the A's in here again tonight, do you, Chris? If you do, you're already off to a good start. <laughs> I'm not sure if you do or not, but you might have. Jay Allen says he needs the Royals, the Marlins, and the Cardinals. And Chris said, you saw a break the other day with a box with no hits. For sure. Yeah. Now that didn't has not happened to me where I don't think that I can remember where I've had none. I definitely have had boxes of product before that well I guess I have because like hoops maybe you only get one autograph in there and we've been missing an autograph or do you get two in there but anyway yeah I've definitely had missing hits before Marco Gonzalez Seattle Mariners base prism but I don't know if I've had any that was missing all the hits however I can tell you a few years ago somebody was breaking Bowman it was not me but the person breaking it the entire case was devoid of hits there was not one hit in the entire case <laughs> so he reported that to tops and i think they made that good but yeah sometimes they mess stuff up our second hit that we see is gavin lux for the dodgers that is another little relic coming out so you probably saw we've got an autograph on the horizon up there and i just set it aside and i'm gonna let it wait a minute we'll get back up there to it Jay Allen said, I jinxed us to have points. Oh, I don't think so. No, no, no. I don't think so. Let's not think that way. All right. We have Manea, Oakland A's, numbered to 149. Anytime you see that blue, it will be to 149. I happen to see a red peeking out from the bottom, so I'm going to go ahead and grab it. Those are numbered to 199 every time that we see them. Willie Adames on the front of this one, Tampa Bay Rays to 199 Vulcans here hi Vulcan we have just gotten started we started late tonight at 9 15 instead of 9 I mean later than normal not late as in we were scheduled all right let me start over we were scheduled to start at 9 15 tonight and we did start at 9 15 tonight but that is 15 minutes later than you are used to me starting so my point is that you haven't missed anything we're just getting started Liam Hendricks, Oakland A's. That's a tricolor. I don't know why I put a sleeve on that. None of those tricolors are numbered, but I did. So there you go. Eventually, it would have gotten one anyway. It just got it early. The Zebra. Now, I'm not going to call this case hit because Panini doesn't call it a case hit because it's not technically guaranteed, but you do generally find about one per case. Corey Kluber, Texas Rangers. I have, though, however, heard reports of cases that have none, 
and I know that in our one of our breaks we had two that came out of a half case so that's probably one of the reasons Panini doesn't really call them case hits because yeah they don't guarantee there's gonna be one in every case for one thing man we are Oakland days all over the place that is a Liam Hendricks prism insert for uh, the Oakland A's lots and lots of A's inserts and things so far tonight now we're going to roll back around here and grab what will be the first autograph that we've looked at this evening. It is number 49. It is Josh uh, Rojas for the Diamondbacks. So there's our first autograph. And let's see what else we've got. Ooh, nice. Here's our second autograph, number 99, the Blue Jays, Vlad Guerrero Jr., yeah, I like that kid. I like Bo Bichette. I like all those little legacy players that are hanging out. Vigio, all those guys that are hanging out up there in uh, Toronto that whose parents played and whatnot. Pretty good little group. Rendon, number to 99. Hard to say this, but angels. I know, so hard. <laughs> Cannot get used to the fact that he's an angel now, but he is. And there is a little Navarez for the Brewers. That is another prism insert. Behind that, our first one that is numbered to 35. This is what I'm going to call North Carolina blue. A lighter blue than our uh, others that are numbered to 149. And these are numbered to 35 when we find them. That particular one going to the Padres with uh, Maura Hoon. And there is box number one. So that's kind of how we're rolling through. Jay Allen, you are here for the first box, and then you're going to bed. Oh, man. All right. Well, we'll miss you the rest of the evening. But I do know that you got to get your rest, so I understand that. Oh, Chris, you've got the Braves tonight. All right, switching it up. Looking for a little love for Atlanta tonight. All right, we'll work on that. Steven needs some Orioles. We'll see what we can find in here for Baltimore while we're at it then. Yeah, Chris, I'm with you. I like the Zebras as well. They're really cool looking cards. They are sort of, I mean, they are unofficially, I guess, case hits. But again, as I mentioned before, there are reports of some cases that have none. In fact, you might have been the one who told me you had seen several cases that had none. And then, of course, we had a half case that had two. And they're kind of all over the map. But tops, you know, they'll just say it's a case hit. And sometimes Panini will say a case hit. But more often than not, they don't. They'll say things like, look for the ultra rare XYZ or the super rare XYZ. And that is kind of an unofficial case hit. But like their fun little wording on average, they don't call it a case hit. So that if you don't get one, you can't, I guess, file a class action lawsuit against them or whatever. <laughs> I guess. <laughs> Oh, man, Vulcan is doing a little trolling there with Steven. He says, nobody needs the Orioles. Oh, that's mean, man. <laughs> that's not even nice. All right, there's a Moonshot insert, Prism, Josh Bell, and the Pirates. But, hey, that's what makes uh, sports fun, right? The rivalries where we get to give each other a little grief. Uh, yeah do a little trolling of uh, our rivals that's what makes it fun to 199 Dustin May and the Dodgers looks like we are going to get NBA basketball back too for a shortened season there's Bellinger prism base Dodgers and they're going to play it all down at Disney World the whole season well at ESPN Sports Zone or whatever it's called down there, but that's uh, of course on the Disney World property, I guess, and it's owned by Disney. So I think they're negotiating to play all the games there. Trent Grisham, San Diego Padres relic. 
So I expect that we'll see more news about that in the days ahead as they move closer to trying to get NBA back up and running. Trevor Bauer, Cincinnati Reds, Tricolor, those again are unnumbered. Even though they're nice looking cards, they don't come with any ink on them. And here we have one for the Cubbies with Al Alzale and a relic again. That's a pinstripe though, so that's a little bonus. I always like to get the pinstripes, makes me happy. Jay Allen, you are reminding me that you need Royals, Marlins, and Cardinals. All right. And you specifically want a George Brett autograph. All right. Mojo request is in, my friend. We'll see what it brings for us. And there is a Baez Royal Blue to 149 San Diego Padres. Of course, with baseball, they're still arguing over money, so who knows what's going to happen there. Nola for the Phillies. I'm quite sure they're going to get some sort of season played, but I don't. they're obviously not going to get started. Well, I say obviously, but I doubt they're going to get started by July 4th, like they originally thought. Gavin Lux, Dodgers, base prism. And then I guess uh, Uber agent Scott Boris has been in the middle of it, putting in his two cents worth. And then so Trevor Bauer, uh, outspoken Trevor Bauer, went after Boris on Twitter, which I thought was funny. <laughs> All right, here's Mauricio Dubon for the San Francisco Giants. It's numbered to 25. Got a little bit of cracked ice action happening there for San Francisco. Then we have a Jake Rogers, and that is going to the Tigers. It's numbered to 25. Looks like there might be some minor edge and corner things going on, really minor there on the back. But, yeah, you like that, don't you? Mm-hmm. Look at that little bad boy. Another cracked ice. Relic, autograph. Mm -hmm. If you've got the Tigers, that is a nice hit. And, oh, uh, yeah, the Oakland A's are on a roll. Numbered to 209, it is A.J. Puck, autograph and relic for the A's. And we've got another fun little green one here. Should be numbered to 99 when we flip it over. Going to the Dodgers, it's Walker Bueller. And next up, Daza, Daza, Base Refractor, Rockies, for your rookie there. Box number two is officially complete. We are rolling here into third of six for tonight. Well, maybe we are. Plastic off. All right, all empty inside there. So I'm slowly starting to see numbers trickle in for what things look like on the landscape for the next month or two. And oh, I'm here to tell you it is ugly. Products that I would typically get five or six cases of. I'm lucky if I've gotten one or two. They are really cutting back production on everything. Not just tops, but panini as well. And of course, our dates continue to be in flux. They moved to tier one again. It was... Uh, well, it's been rescheduled, of course. A lot of things have been rescheduled multiple times. But most recently, we thought it was coming out Wednesday. And then they announced uh, today. It's actually not going to come out until next Friday. And that is an example of a product where I got probably a fourth of what I would normally get of that. So Top seems to be cutting more than Panini in general. 
Although stuff, some stuff for Panini, I was shocked. Like <laughs> basic stuff, like score football, you know, that you could normally just buy till the cows come home or at least a reasonable amount of it. And that I get very little love in comparison to what I ordered. So everything's going to be tough sledding for a little while. We have our second zebra. So yeah, like I said, not officially a case hit. Sometimes more, sometimes less. Tonight we're lucky. It's more. Kyle Lewis and the Mariners. And that is our second zebra of the night. Maybe we'll even find more. You never know what's going to happen around here. A base prism Brad Keller for the Kansas City Royals. And of course, even as far behind as they are, they continue rolling out solicitations for new products. So we're going to get absolutely crushed between now and the end of the year. There's Altuve Sensations insert uh, unnumbered prism. So as soon as they get their printing back up to full speed, I mean, they're just going to be churning stuff out like crazy. It's to $1.99, the Tigers. And there's a little Lourdes Guriel Jr. Blue Jays base prism. And I saw the solicitation today for Stadium Club Chrome version. So that is still a go. I had wondered if they were going to give up on some of the Chrome versions considering, you know, they're behind on everything right now. Logan Allen Indians. But we know at least that one's coming. There's... Should be, if they don't change things, what was announced at the first of the year would mean that we would get an, a chrome version of Allen and Genter and a chrome version of, what else? Gypsy Queen, I think, was the other one, besides the Chrome Stadium Club. So we'll see if all of it ends up being added back to the calendar or not. Kyle Seeger to 149, the Mariners. I think Stadium Club Chrome is probably going to be pretty fun. Well, it is an Oakland A's kind of night. Uh, they've already got a lot of hits for the A's. And there's another A.J. Puck. This one, Relic, no autograph attached. But nonetheless, adding to the haul for the Oakland A's, as is this one. And this is Jesus Lazardo also going to Oakland and also a Relic. So the A's are... Packing on the hits tonight. So by extension, we can assume this is going to have an autograph on the other side. We've already seen this guy, though. This is Rojas for the Diamondbacks. It's numbered to 99, and you've got an autograph relic pairing there. So there you go. Um, Vulcan, yes, three and four are from the same case. So break number one was the start of a case. Break number two was the back of that case. Break number three started a case. This is break number four, which as I said at the top of the break is the back half of a case. Then break number five is starting a new case. And break number six, which isn't scheduled yet, will be the back half of that case. So most of the time, it is odd numbers are the start of a case, evens are the end of it. Not always, because occasionally we might switch between a full case and a partial case or something like that, but we haven't done that on this. Jordan Alvarez. And there's what you want if you have the Houston Astros. And it is numbered to 199 on a little launch angle insert. Nice autograph hit for the Astros. Tim Anderson for the White Sox. That is numbered to 149. And of course, the other reason they might not sometimes, a break might not be first or back half of the case is if it's a loose box break, which it is always going to tell you that in the description if that is the case. Boreos base prism. And that, of course, is the Minnesota Twins. Next up, we've got a little tie-dye. This bad boy is going to be low-numbered, and look who it is. It's Mike Trout for the Angels. Sweet. Numbered 220 with our tie-dye. And I believe we had a tie-dye in the first half of this case, 
which was the first tie-dye I had seen. So really that means we would have gotten two tie-dyes out of this case. And then of course we already seen two Libras, so. Well, Vulcan, I don't think we had any zebras in the first half of this case, did we? I believe that all those other zebras were in um, either break one or break two, which would have been from the first case. I don't think we had any zebras in the very last, most recent break, which would have been the first half of this case. Now, we did have a lot of Oakland A's in the first half of this case, and again, here in the back half but I'm pretty sure all those other zebras came out of either break number one or two, I think. I wouldn't swear to it because it's, you know, I've seen a lot of cards in between, but I think they were from a different case. But you know how it goes these days, both with Panini and Tops. I mean, sometimes you get really good collation and the hits are a nice mixture, and other times you have terrible collation, and you have one team getting a third of the hits or something. And I've seen that more and more in recent years, and from both places, Tops and Panini. So the only place it doesn't happen is Leaf, because they hand collate their stuff, I think. Um, so that's about the only place where you don't have a lot of that sort of thing happening. Well, and there are some hand collated things for Panini as well. Flawless, for instance, is hand collated. So, so there are some products that don't have it, but most these days kind of do. Shohei Otani base prism for the angels. And there's a little Moonshot Freddie Freeman Atlanta Braves insert prism. And another Oakland A's. I mean, this is getting kind of crazy. I got to be honest, this is a ridiculous amount of hits for the A's. Nothing against you if you've got the A's. Congratulations, you're doing well. But man, it makes it rough on everybody else. That is Sean Murphy, and it is an Atomic Refractor Autograph numbered 225. Uh, sorry, Cracked Ice um, <laughs> Autograph numbered to 25. Tops calls those Atomic Refractors. Panini calls them, of course, Cracked Ice. And I just, whoops, gave you the Tops word for it. But it's the same thing. Number to 199, DJ LeMayhew and the New York Yankees. This goes to show that old habits die hard, doesn't it? Howie Kendrick comes out next on a tricolor unnumbered. And these we also usually find approximately one per case. And it is Artistic Impressions. This one is also Jordan Alvarez for the Astros. Now we saw, we've seen one other of those. It was for Beau Bichette, but I don't remember which break it came out of. But we have seen, out of the breaks we've done, one more of those. Cubbies and Kyle Hendricks, Base Prism. To 199, there's another Jordan Alvarez. He is rolling all of a sudden. Houston Astros to 199. Don't look now, but everything's coming up Alvarez, right? We switched off from the A's, I guess, for a minute. <laughs> the Dodgers with greater all. And that is a relic, of course. Headed to LAD. We've got ourselves a Nelson Cruz autograph, Minnesota Twins, and number to five. Hey, that's what I like to see, a little green number to five, Minnesota, with a nice-looking autograph. Behind that, a die cut. First die cut I think we've seen in any of our select breaks that I remember. Might not be the only one. It's the only one I remember. Donnie Walton for the Mariners. 
got something here for Mr. Mike Trout, and it is the Angels number to 250 with a nice little red relic. Find that, number to 99, Boreos. Jose is the green parallel, number to 99, going to Minnesota, eh? To 199, Sheldon Noose. We are back on the Oakland A's. All right, that finished up box number four. This is box number five of six. Well, technically you can see it's numbered 12 on the bottom, but they were numbered for the purpose of determining which boxes were opened in break number one and which in break number two. So the way we do it, when we are starting a new case, but we're not breaking the entire case in one setting, I just number the boxes and then I use random.org to uh, mix it up for us and determine which boxes get opened in the first half of the break. And then obviously whatever's remaining is what gets opened in the second half of the break. So that's how we roll with uh, that. And that's why it's numbered on the bottom. Vulcan, you said you didn't get anything for the Reds. Well, you said Squadoosh or something. I don't think I pronounced that right. Squadoosh. <laughs> anyway, it's the equivalent of nada. Zip zilch, you're saying, for the Reds in the first half in terms of, I guess, hits. So you're hoping that we can find you some in here. I hope we can, too. You know I love the Reds. So for sure, I would like that. I think that would be a lot of fun. I saw a Mets, uh, an article headline. I don't really have time to read too much of it, but I guess um, a Mets minor leaguer was let go by the organization here this week and is now speaking out and like ripping them over Tim Tebow. And basically talking about how Tebow was brought in just to sell tickets and merchandise and uh, and that other guys uh, lost their jobs, meaning they lost their spot on the team so that he could move up and, and alleged, I think, again, I just skimmed it, but I think somewhere in there he alleged that maybe Tebow got some some extra money that other people weren't getting is what he seemed to be implying either i don't know i guess related to the ticket revenue or the memorabilia or something who knows but he was letting it rip so i'm gonna have to dig in and find that article again and read it better later <laughs> numbered to 99 that is headed to the san francisco giants with jalen davis and a relic I mean, he didn't call him by name, but he called him, I mean, you knew who he was talking about, like a celebrity, the celebrity player or whatever he was calling him. <laughs> Trevor Bauer for the Cincinnati Reds with a base prism. So it was definitely directed towards Tebow. There was no question about that. And there's a Miami Marlins base prism. And behind it, right as I said, we haven't found many tie-dyes up to this point. Here's another one. Michael King. And it is numbered to 20. That heads to the New York Yankees. So we've got tie-dyes and zebras in abundance in this half. Kirby Yates, Padres, base prism. And there is a Brandon Woodruff Milwaukee Brewers base prism. Lorenzo Kane Brewers tricolor insert prism. Well, sort of an insert. 
to 199. This is Matt Boyd, the red parallel for the Detroit Tigers. And next up, it is the Angels to 209 with Matt Thace Thice. I don't know how you pronounce his last name. I've actually never heard his last name pronounced. So, yeah, your guess is as good as mine on that one. But we do know he's the Angels. That's the part that matters the most, of course, where it's headed. Toronto Blue Jays to 209. TJ Zoosh. Probably butchered that one, too. But it's an autograph relic pairing. Let's look at that guy first. There's your man right there. A little show go for Cincinnati Reds. Number two, 199. A Prism Javi Baez parallel cubbies. And here's another one for the Reds. Just took a minute for him to get rolling, didn't it? It's the Punisher, Aristides Aquino, bringing home a relic for the Cincinnati Reds. And we'll look at that base. And then we've got a blue parallel here for the Marlins. Alcantara, Alcantara to 149, Miami. All right, last one. Box six of six. Again, not numbered six on the bottom. I explained that part earlier, but meaning it is the sixth box of the six we are opening tonight. So that means last box mojo coming at you right now. We've got to collectively focus our energies here. Let's see if we can bring home some gigantic hits out of this last box. I hope so, anyway. Oh, nice, Vulcan. You have the uh, Aristides Aquino Zebra. Sweet. Did you hit it in a break, or did you buy it just out of curiosity? I'm just being nosy now. I just wondered. <laughs> but, yeah, I bet that is a nice-looking card. I like that kid. I mean, he just came up and blew it up, didn't he? I mean, they did figure him out towards the end. He slowed down a little bit, but that happens with every rookie. The pitchers figure it out and adjust what they're doing, and he'll come back and have made his adjustments and continue to be the punisher. You bought it. You said it cost you $4,000 to chase it. <laughs> Uh, yeah, it might have been less expensive to buy that particular one, yeah, because zebras are few and far between, as we know. A base prism Sawarka for Atlanta. There's another moonshot prism Josh Bell Pirates insert prism, of course. We've got some green happening down here, numbered to 99. That is Jalen Davis going to the San Francisco Giants. Mr. Rizzo is here for the Cubbies. And a pink relic. So that's probably what, from Mother's Day or something one would assume, right? I would think. Yeah, or, oh, well, you know what else, what else it could have been? It didn't, I mean, if they did, I don't know. Do they do breast cancer awareness in October in Major League Baseball? I can't remember if they do or if they don't. They do in the NFL, usually do breast cancer awareness stuff at some point. But I don't know if the NFL does or not. So it's either that or Mother's Day, seeing as how it's pink. Phenoms, White Sox with a little Louis Robert. Nice prism insert there for... Chicago White Sox. Evan Longoria, Giants. All righty, we're closing in on it. We got just a little bit left up there. I see a red one right off the top. That is the Diamondbacks 199 Cattell Marte. 
Got a base prism Juan Soto for the Nationals. Looks like that might be a little, I don't know if that's chipping or miscut or kind of looks like a little bit of a rough edge across the bottom there. Maybe it's just an optical illusion, but that's how it looks to me. To 199, Abraham Toro. And that is out for the Houston Astros, who have quietly had a very nice break themselves. Yamamoto. Somebody's been chasing that. Who told me they were chasing Jordan or Yamamoto the other day? Somebody did. To 199, Miami Marlins. With a little ink. Then we've got a blue parallel to 149, Eduardo Rodriguez for the Red Sox. And the last few to look at here. Well, I meant to do it the opposite way and have that weight. And I thought I was pulling the base forward and I really pulled the hip forward. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> Did that the opposite of the way I meant to. And Jack Flaherty for the Cardinals with a base prism. You know, I like to save at least one little hit kind of towards the end. And here he comes. Chang, Cleveland Indians, numbered to 250 with a relic. And looks like the relic itself has got something going on there. Some kind of maybe loose threads or pulled threads or something. All right, that is the last of this Select Baseball, but we are going to recap our relics, our autographs, our pseudo case hits, and cards that are numbered to 99 and lower. We're not going to recap the ones to 149 and 199, but the ones that are 99 and lower, we are going to recap. Then after that, I will put up there the shipping information one final time in case you missed that earlier. And we will also take one more little peek at what's going to be breaking in the days ahead. So all that coming up after we do the recap. So we have a die cut, which I set aside to go with our kind of pseudo case hits. Because we just don't hit a lot of die cuts in this product. And it is Donnie Walton for the Seattle Mariners. This again is kind of an unofficial case hit artistic impressions. Jordan Alvarez and the Houston Astros. We've got a pair of zebras tonight, one for the Mariners that has Kyle Lewis on it. And then we've got the other one here, which is Corey Kluber for the Texas Rangers. Getting into, a, again, numbered 99 or lower, those numbered higher, we're not recapping. You're going to get them, of course, uh, but we're just not recapping them. Michael King, tie-dye, 20, Yankees. Mike Trout, tie-dye to 20 for the Angels. A cracked ice, number to 25, Mauricio Dubon for Saint, uh, San Francisco Giants. Then we have Morajon, number to 35 for the Padres. And then all these green ones are numbered to 99. Jalen Davis for the Giants. Jose Barrios for the Minnesota Twins. Walker Bueller for the Dodgers. And Anthony Rendon for the Angels little stack of relics here and it is Chang for the Cleveland Indians Rizzo for the Cubbies Aquino Cincinnati Reds Jalen Davis Giants Mike Trout Angels Greater All Los Angeles Dodgers for the Oakland A's, Lazardo. The Oakland A's, A.J. Puck. And then we have Alzale for the Cubbies. Grisham for the Padres. Gavin Lux, the Dodgers. And another Oakland A with Lazardo. So there go your relics. These are autographs, and sometimes autographs and relics put together, but ink nonetheless. Yamamoto, Marlins, Toro, Astros, Zush, or something sort of maybe not like that, Toronto Blue Jays, <laughs> Matt Face Thice, something like that, Los Angeles Angels, I gotta figure out how to pronounce that guy's name, Nelson Cruz, number to five, Minnesota Twins, 
a cracked ice Sean Murphy Oakland A's to 25 there's that sweet little Jordan Alvarez hit for the Astros it is numbered to 199 Rojas Diamondbacks autograph relic pairing AJ Puck autograph relic combo for the Oakland A's a cracked ice autograph relic combo Jake Rogers Detroit Tigers to 25 Mr. Vladimir Guerrero Jr., Baby Vlad going to the Toronto Blue Jays. And last but not least, Rojas Diamondbacks to 49. All right, that is the break and the recap for tonight. As promised, I'm going to throw up some spreadsheet information on the screen here. And we'll take one more peek at that. Well, maybe we will. If I click the right button, we will. There we go. <laughs> All right, so just the one break tonight. That's the one we just completed here. It says Noir Basketball, doesn't it? Why does it say Noir Basketball? I don't know. What did I do wrong there? It shouldn't say that. It should have said this. I need to see that earlier. Somehow I just totally, I totally messed up that page, didn't I? And that is all wrong. That whole thing right there. That is wrong, wrong, wrong. That, and well, now look what happened. Dang, gone it. I don't know how I, I didn't even see that earlier. I noticed the date. I did not notice that I had the wrong product listed in there. See, I can't answer the phone and talk on the phone while I'm doing this stuff, obviously. So let's try that again. Select baseball is what we opened tonight. And that is what is going to be out the door and on the way to you by Tuesday. Might go out the door sooner. That is why it is plus or minus a day. Something unexpected happens. Could go a day later. Goes as planned. Would it land on Tuesday? Goes better than expected would go out the door maybe on Monday. So as always, I will try to get it out to you as quickly as I possibly can. All the cards ship, so we do not need to worry about looking at consolation card info in this particular break. Both Saturday night and Sunday night are off nights. On Monday night, we are going to come back with Contenders Draft Picks Football. That's a new release product. It actually came out today. But I wasn't confident we were going to get it here on time, although it turns out it did come on time. Um, so I scheduled it for Monday night. We're going to break a half case quantity, which is six boxes. Those are loose boxes from a shared case. On Tuesday night, we're going to break Bowman Baseball again. Once again, those are loose boxes, and that is a six box half case break. And then on Wednesday night, we're going to uh, reconvene with Select Baseball. And that half case break is going to be the back half of this case that we started here tonight. Or no, it'll be the start of a new case. We finished up the case tonight. So number five will be the start of a brand new case of Select on Wednesday night. And that, I guess, is it for me tonight. Actually, that's it for me until Monday, isn't it? Yeah, so... Thank you, everyone, for joining me. I hope that you have a fantastic weekend and that you will come back and see me again next week or somewhere along the way. In the meantime, stay safe and happy and healthy and enjoy your weekend, and we will see you again on Monday. Thanks, everyone. Bye now.